Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. That was so extra. And your boy, <laughs> Stanley. All right, since this is the finale of Queen Sugar, we will go ahead and get all the mushy stuff out the way. But everybody that has been rocking out with us from this season, last season, we so appreciate you all. Yes, indeed. Um, I just looked at my numbers and we didn't actually realize that we had hit 8K, which, wow, when did that happen? And um, who, me? Yes, me. So yeah, we couldn't have did this without you all. You all come through every week. Y'all yes, are indeed. pushing the like button. You're hitting the subscribe button, which is actually giving us more exposure. Yeah, we having dialogue back and forth in the comment section, and I so appreciate every last one of you all. You just don't know. Y'all are extended pieces of our family. We call yeah. you our virtual family for a reason. Because y'all get to see us sometimes more than our real family too. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and continue this um, family situation, Go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure your bell is pressed. That way you'll know when we come through, especially for next season. Because if I don't do any other shows, I will do Queen Sugar yeah. and I will do Green Leaf. If Indeed. I don't do nothing else, it Those will be these two. Show. Those are for sure. Because for in show. my opinion, these are the best written, the best acted out ever. See, Tyler Perry used to be up there with them, but they on that buzz kit now, so. He got big hit. Yeah, so we, can, we can't do that, so. Yeah, so let's yeah. go on into it. We start off, last, now let me go ahead and say this right here right now. Because I might disappoint a few, a few of you all because I was on Twitter last night because I did watch it when y'all watched it. But I'm just reviewing it today. I didn't get the feels that everybody got. Everybody was like, oh my God, I'm crying yet. I can't stop crying. I ain't get that. Maybe I'm just built a little <laughs> different. Maybe I ain't in my emotional state like I should be for this. But I didn't get that. But I'm going to tell you what it did get. Now, the only part that got me was the Ralph Angel part when he was like asking for the why. That, that yeah. kind of got me a little bit that, yeah, but that was kind of the. And he, it was he intense. Was, yeah, when he was going around looking for it and everything. I know I'm ahead of it, but yeah. Yeah. I it think, don't matter. I think for me, it didn't make me feel no kind of way, like emotionally. Because I've actually had to do that. Yeah. You've actually done that. Yeah. You know, so, you know, it brings back memories, but isn't, it wasn't whatever. We're going to get into it. Yeah, we talk about it when so, we get there. So we have Dala. Now we got Nova and the, um, I can't remember the girl's name, but the um, writer. Is it is she called a writer? Whatever, y'all know whatever. what I'm talking about. Journalist. Yeah. She's out there basically getting sides of, you know, the farmer stories and whatnot about what they think is going on at the mill, blah, 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 blah. We all of a sudden just saw Nova's attention just go all the way to the left. <laughs> and she went all the way to the left. And I said, all oh, skit. Is Dollar back? Mm-hmm. Dollar came back because she said, you know what? I figured while Ralph Angel was out in the fields doing harvest time, I'll slip in here and get a few of my belongings that I need. I need my phone charger just in case he decides to call. In case some guy decides to call, if mm -hmm. something happens to Blue, I still need to go up in there. Nova said, listen, mm, <laughs> you can't come up in here. This ain't your house. Dollar said, this is my house. I do live here. Well, she, she's right. She right. She do. She yeah. do live there. Yeah, because she, you know, she got rid of the trailer and moved on into the big house. Not only that, he moved her in there. Yeah, he did. So, she do live there. No, but so, uh-uh. This is my daddy house. Y'all know how we get when we get mm -hmm. territorial. This is my daddy, daddy house. house. They worked the fields and they did this and they did that. And they put the bond up for when my cousin Leroy got in trouble down at the courthouse. And fixed my cousin copyright last week. This ain't your house. It's his house. So they going back and forth, back and forth. And Nova was like, listen, just tell me why. Give me, like, like Drew Hill said, give me one good reason <laughs> that I should let you stay. Well, she really didn't give a good reason. But she gave the reason that we all know that she's going to give. I thought that at the time I was doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do the right thing by Blue by not hurting the family, not hurting Blue, pulling him away from the family that he knows. Okay. Nova still was like, you know what? Go ahead and take your happy hind pots wherever you came from <laughs> and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Let me she, go ahead she and say lucky. That. She better lucky she didn't get that root put on her in, in, that, in that moment. Oh, Ricky, Cause, ticket, cause, ticket. Cause I know she had her ingredients in her back pocket. I try to tell you. Uh -huh. Listen, I love Nova's locks. She almost makes me want to lock my hair. 
Yeah, she got them. Long she don't got them in real life though, did she? Not really. Yeah. I mean, she does it from time to time, but the temp ones. But yeah, that that's doesn't her. work. Yeah, that works for her. Yeah. I never tell anybody what to do with their hair, but when you look at Nova, you think of locks. And when mm -hmm. I see her without them, it's just like, oh, that's her. <laughs> yeah, and it works. So then we see Dollar. Dollar goes over to Aunt Vi's house. She pulls up in the driveway, which was real suspect to me that because country people are nosy as hell. Mm -hmm. You mean tell me Hollywood and Vi sitting on that egg on on porch and they didn't see her pull up? Well, she pulled up and she's basically having a bird's eye view of her son having fun with Auntie Vi and Hollywood. She, I don't know if she was coming to visit. She was com I don't know what she came for, but she didn't ever get out the car. She ended up having a breakdown in the car, hollering and screaming. And I said, honey... I think every person alive has had a moment, and it always happens in the car, seems to be. Mm-hmm. Or in the bathroom. Yep. Where you just have a one-on-one -on -one session with your god doing soul. Mm-hmm. She and, need to be. And yeah. All the booze get you don't put them through. Yeah. And she would have had it pulled off, and I said, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad she. I'm glad she mm -hmm. did pull off because I think Aunt Vi would have gave her a piece of her mind. Well, I was scared. Yeah, cause I, I she, she, and she might have turned up missing if Aunt Vi saw in that car. No, I, I was scared when she pulled off because I said, okay, she is at her most vulnerable state right now. And although I'm one of those people, I'm a stickler. If I got to pull my big panties up when I make a mistake and I got to face my consequences, so does everybody, everybody else. else. Yeah. And you know, you hear people, and I had get some of y'all um in the comment section. I was like, you got to be easy on buy. I'm not. Me I'm on, not me the, on dollar. I'm, I'm yeah on, on dollar. Mm. I'm not that person that tells a victim of hurt to be easy on somebody because no one was easy on you when your feelings was messed up. See the thing about it, if you don't pay the if you don't pay the heavy price of the consequences of your actions, you do it again. So mm -hmm. so the next time she think about smoking a crack pipe or putting a needle on her arm, she's gonna think about the pain that she just experienced. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we we as humans we learn two different ways. We learn through the pain or through the wisdom of somebody else that's been there, but most time it's through the pain. Yeah, you don't listen to no. You don't listen to you don't listen to skit. Just do what we want to do. Like like the hard twist that you can you Can you can get do. off my notes? Oh I'm, 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 <laughs> you <laughs> feel like you're reading my god doing note. You stay over there, Red. Hey, you end up in that car with Dollar. I know how to handle people like Dollar. Oh. I've been told you see, I don't I don't peep y'all from the god door and jump about Dollar. Y'all was the ones that was behind. Look, I got a god door professor that I don't learn from. Uh. <laughs> hey. So yeah, she pulls off. And next thing we know, we see Hollywood. Hollywood gets a phone call. And to me, at first, I said, this sounds like a bad phone call. Like, something ain't going right. Because, you know, he been down there giving his statement and whatever mm -hmm. about what happened on the rig. Well, come find out, it's his lawyer. And they don't settle. Now, he had one figure in mind that if this works out well, we're going to be good. Yeah. But no, no. God gave them triple. Double for your trouble? Triple. Triple for your pain? Hello? Yeah. He told Auntie Vi, he said, listen, girl. Mm, let me tell you something right here. We rich. She said, listen. I done heard that all before. Uh -huh. You know, we rich, I rich yeah. and love and all this. He said, no, 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 no. Baby, we's rich. Honey, you know what we had in our mind? That figure we had in our mind? Three times. She said, what? <laughs> <laughs> And then Hollywood said, you know what, girl? I'm sick and tired of playing with you. I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and make you the woman. I'm going to lock this down. That you're supposed to be in my life. Not just my old lady. Mm -hmm. But I need you to be my wife. Yeah, make this official. I'm about to say, is this really what you want? He said, I ain't mm -hmm. never. See, I'm about uh, Yeah, he said, I ain't never had nothing like this happen to me before. I was like, you better go ahead and come through with it, boy. Huh? He said, and I like how he put it, because Hollywood was smooth with it. Huh? He said, I know that this is going to be a little hard for you. So I'm not going to ask you if you would marry me. I'm going to ask you if you would consider uh... marrying me. I said, Hollywood, I see what you just did. You made her think that she had a choice what she said. Let me tell you something, man. A whole lot of these young players on here can learn something from Hollywood. Hello? Say, when you find yourself a good woman, because a good woman is hard to got darn fine, you need to lock. Her down because guess what? It ain't gotta be that way. You blessed. 
and you don't even know it. And vice versa. I mean, we just don't be locking y'all down like that. Well, nah, some people Yeah, do. some people do, but it, it's traditionally that we lock y'all down. Yeah, feels better. Yeah, feels better. You can brag that. about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you tell the story. How it happened? She came and locked me down. She proposed to me. What? Got the boost? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't See, worry about it. Yeah. You know, but anyway. Now let me go ahead and get on our vibe real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and read her for her rights real quick, cause everybody on this show gets it. I don't, I do have favorites. But when I see it, I'm going to call it out. And y'all know how I do. Get on. My eye has been on Auntie Vi for a good little minute and a half now. Mine about her, um, her activities and how she moves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how she moves. And how she moves. <laughs> she real secretive. She been getting money for Blue. We don't know how much that is, but we know she been getting it. She hear that. She hear the fact about that land. Did she hit, she basically manipulated Nova into hating Charlie's mama. Yep. And now all of a sudden, you been knew Hollywood wanted to marry you. But now that he got three times the payout. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and consider marrying you, baby. So what are you trying to say? If, if he didn't get that money, he would have been kicked to the curb? No, he wouldn't have been kicked to the curb because Hollywood ain't going nowhere. She just wouldn't have got married. She, they would just be... Like some of the old folk we know, they've been living together so long. You uh -huh. think they married, uh -huh. but they ain't married until <laughs> until one of them die. They married by the statutory <laughs> of the state. Uh, yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> like my like my dad and my stepmama, they ain't married, but God don't it. They married to me. I wonder they, how that really works though. I don't know, but when he uh, die, I'll let you know. Yeah, how that really works because you know you ain't, you don't get the rights until you like make it official in the court. When he so, die, I will let you know. So, I mean, how they know how long y'all been together? Uh, they, 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 they calculating that bill skip behind your back? Yeah, bring that electric be bill like, Be like, all right, this is year six right here. Six and a half. Yep, there they go. <laughs> Boom, put it on the books. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll buy. I'll see you. So then we go back to, now this will piss me off. We got farmers. Still insisted on believing a lie before they go and check out the truth. Now, I told y'all what Charlie should have did. Charlie should have got on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Google Live, all of them. Yeah. And just did a. Sh See, I'm but good. She was too, I'm working. But she was too busy putting the fire out. Let me get on her too. Yeah, she was too busy trying to put the fire out. Let, so, let, let me yeah. get on. Farmers, they um. They, 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 yeah, they, they, they feeling some kind of way. Can't get in touch with them. We hearing these um, rumors about chokeouts at the mill, stuff breaking down. Hey, your stuff breaking down, me, my livelihood is going out the window. So now they starting to pull their contracts all the way down to where there's only three, three. farms left on the books. When you had a full book yeah. of farmers that were supposed to mill with this girl. Yeah. Now, in my mind, as Mike B was saying, y'all been milling for a good, what, day? Two days? Mm-hmm. So, you mean tell me ain't nobody's crop done been up there? Somebody's done been up there. And been milled already where they could say, Somebody, yep. no, it's good up there. And then second of all, y'all can take y'all pickup trucks and drive down there and talk to Ralph Angel about how much they hear that the sisters on mill is doing bad why you can't take that same pickup truck and drive your happy home parts over there to the mill and yeah. go see for your god doing check it stuff. out mm -hmm. yep. and then charlie i'm gonna go ahead and get on you too as a black business owner because yeah. sometimes we always talk about how people don't support us but we sometimes can have the worst customer service that there is them motherfuckers calling you and you ain't answering their goddamn phone. Now, see, I can give her a break on this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. This, mm -hmm. this is the break. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 mm -hmm. now, listen up. I mean, you, you correct. <laughs> the only way I'm gonna give her a break because she was down there putting out the five and she had the five dollar. Let me the tell you. The dollar was the customer service age. She just didn't have time to replace her. No, no, but no. she should have had her cell phone on to get the call. If you're going to fire your secretary, make sure you have one. you got don't settle a phone <laughs> you're what now? to answer the calls when they come in. Because you know people are going to be calling on harvest. So, and this is what I'm going to say. Yeah. So I give her a little bit of leeway for that. She wouldn't think him right. you nicer than me because I don't. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's only just this time. <laughs> but the black phone was pissed. Me off too. Me too. Now, what first I, of all, well, what, hold on, let me get people in my uh, Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Because you're going to cut me. I'm going to make me uh, go, ahead, go ahead. You know, I smoke a lot. 
No matter. It, it comes Smoke and goes. Smoke a little bit. Drink a little bit. So, uh, what I was going to say about Charlie is, okay, a good business owner, when you're working plan A, your plan B, C, and D are already lined up. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. When she fired Darla, you knew what season you were in. You knew that even if nothing went wrong, the possibility of you needing someone to answer phone calls was going to be this great. Mm -hmm. Auntie Vi sitting right over at the helm. You could have schooled her real quick and, and I heard routed them phone calls to her and be like, just answer the phone when these people call mm -hmm. and say, duh, 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 duh. So I'll take a message. Yes. Everything's good. If you have any problems or some concern, drive up to the meal, see yourself. But she's not able to talk to you at the moment because this is Harvard. That's all. I'm not going to say that's all it would have took, but anywho. But now let's get on to these farmers. Now I'll let you do it. Huh? Get on the farmers real quick. Or you ain't ready. First of all, I'm ready. <laughs> First of all, you go through all this long drawn out thing with, with God doing Charlie that y'all don't trust you. Y'all had about 15 meetings. Oh my God. So she can establish and talk to y'all and say, I'm in this with y'all for the long haul. I'm here to, to live a legacy for my father. I'm here to help out the black farmers to get freaking the Landry's off of your neck, set you free. And now you get to the opportunity where you free and one lie come out and you pull all your business and go back to the person that did the lie. Well, shouldn't it have been very obvious that he would put the lie out on Harvest Day? <laughs> on Harvest, he should have, if that was the case, he should have been did that long time ago. But we don't think, uh -uh. We, don't, we don't think, I think what it was, they wanted, they wanted to be back with him anyway. So they just needed an excuse to go back. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, well, because it was too easy. They they got rattled by fear. Yeah, too easy. Which was... makes me sick because we black. Let's go ahead and keep it 100. We know struggle. <laughs> yeah. We know how it is to be the underdog. Yeah. You're in a perfect position. One, you're, you're changing history. Two, you're regaining a whole lot of skit back. I mean, this is first harvest. Yeah. By next year, y'all going to be real good. Y'all going to be good. And you mean to tell me. One little lie. One lie. Just ruin it all. Just spread so freaking quick. And yep. none of you all fact check that bullshit. Nope. Y'all do more fact checking on Facebook than y'all did when it came to your own money. Yep. When your own livelihood was on. What? And I'm pretty sure when they went back to the Landry's, I'm pretty sure he locked them in on a terrible contract. Oh, yeah. Probably charged them double the money. Yeah. For, for running back. Yeah. So I, I said, this is just a mess. So over there in Nova House, <clears throat> now that um, Auntie Vi and Hollywood are now officially engaged because she said yes, and she going about to say yes to the dress, they over there having them a good little shing dig over at the house. But everybody's busy. Charlie's busy. Ralph Angels, he's in the field. So they, them two were not able to come. Remy was invited with Charlie, but Remy came on over by himself because he was like, you know what? I love yeah. me some Ralph Angel and I love me some Auntie Vi and I would not miss this for the world. Yeah. So he over there celebrating with them and whatnot. They wind down the party. Mm-hmm. They look right in that kitchen. And they cleaning up. And I said, wait a minute, Remy. What you not fitting to do? Yeah, you ain't fitting to mess up these sisters' relationship right here. And no, but what you ain't fit to do with your free spirited Han Potts huh? is have him over there in that bed. Huh? Because I know you still got it ready. They, they because had, um, Calvin didn't knock the dust off of it. Hey, and they had that had that uh, that nice music playing too. I don't know if it was in our head though. Was it really playing for them? Oh, it was playing. <laughs> it was, that music was playing for them. I said, hold on, wait a minute. That hug was a little bit too embraceful and too mm -hmm. long. Yep. I said, wait a minute. And then when he left, she had a waiting to exhale moment. She's staring on. I said, oh God. She had that same look of um freaking the, what the name was the uh uh Dubois. Dubois. Dr. Dubois. All these Dubois, man. 
They just they just take it over. Well, it don't make no difference. She get them anyway. She gonna she gonna mess it up. So it makes <laughs> no difference. Stop saying that. She gonna mess it. <laughs> Every relationship she done been in, she done messed up with Calvin. She done messed up with the Duval guy. And only God knows who else been in her past. What's her name, Chantel? Yep, messed up with Chantel. So Chantel you can't Pierce. you can't get it right with the men or the women. <laughs> you just bucked up all the way around. Don't. Oh, shut up. Hey, turn my page one more time. Oh, <laughs> just use the turn. It, it don't matter. And then you go rip it on my book. Style. I don't have time tonight or no night. <laughs> well, back over there. So over at Nova House, all of a sudden she's sitting in front of her computer. She's doing some work. But for some reason, see, they did this with this um with the camera angles and the cinematography. I can't speak tonight. But then who? Um I said, is somebody in her bed? Yeah, because I, I thought I saw a foot in her bed. But it won't about in the bed. No about it. But she was writing up an article to send to, I guess it was her boss. Yeah, it was a boss. And it was basically about Trump's America, these fields, money, power. All of that. Yeah. So she sent the article off, and next thing we know, she got in the bed. She got a text message, and I said, "If that is Remy," I said, "It better not be Remy." Texting her, cause soon it went off. She started smiling like she like she wanted to be him, but it won't. It was her boss and said it was the best thing he's read in a long time. I was like, God, no way. He read that song be fast. Yeah. She literally said, "Send," and freaking two minutes later. <laughs> I said, okay, but I just knew it was Remy, and I said, is this the shocking part that it's going to take all of us out, that them two going to get it on to the bed? But no, no. Thank God that didn't happen. So then we see Charlie. She's over there meeting with um the, the um, Brujo man. And she's like, what is it that you want? He said, I want a partnership. I want a little more, but let's go ahead and start with the partnership first, you know, you know. I want to partner with you. I want to take over, build the empire, do all this good stuff. And she was like, um, no, absolutely not. Give me another year. I'm going to come back and get the rest of your folk. All You know the story that she mm -hmm. always tells uh -huh. them and herself, whatever. And homeboy was like, okay, go ahead and deny me now, but you'll be back. And I said, I hate yeah. that smugness and that... <laughs> Because mm -hmm. usually when people do that to you, they make it true. Yep. That they you make sure it happen. Come back. Yeah. So I said, something's about to happen. Y'all, y'all going to be good to me. <laughs> but did y'all peep this? I don't know if it's because of how, you know, we down in the South. So I peep stuff that sometimes goes over everybody else's head. In that man office, didn't y'all see like a teller window where it had the little speaker and a little slip? Through, where you can slide documents and money through, but you can't like really be in contact contact with the person in the office. Don't y'all tell me this is what how this man does business with black people. Hmm, that's a good point. Cause that's the first thing I thought about this when these black farmers come out to his office, they can't even come in the office. They probably yeah, got slide business they right through that goddamn glass. That's some bullshit. Very much so. But he want him some Charlie. I said okay. Charlie, you better know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, Charlie is fed up because now that she only has three farmers left, she know that basically running this farm is the bankrupt than herself. Yeah, it's going. And I'm not going to be able to do it. Yep. She goes to Ralph Angel and she said, Ralph Angel, I'm going to need you to go on over there and meal with the Landrys. So Ralph Angel was like, wait a minute, come again? She was like, Bruh, I'm going to need you to trust me. I trust you and I got your back with everything that I got mm -hmm. in me. But I'm going to need you to trust me on this, that I have a plan. I'm going to get it on the inside and I'm going to divide and conquer from the inside. But you got to trust me. He won't feel in it, but he said at this point, I don't really have a choice but to go Just, run into yeah. the Landry's. Because, <laughs> I mean, what? I got this harvest. I got to get grinded up so I can make this paper. So Yeah. So... He agreed to go ahead and do so. And she said, listen, I don't want you to ever question where my loyalty lies. That's why I fired Dollar. Because I didn't want you to have to question my loyalty. He looked at her like... You did what? He, I, was, he was like, I didn't really want you... He looked like I really didn't want you to do all that. Yeah, because he knows that this possibly could be the thing that pushes her all the way over to the edge. But at the same time, he created this though. Because when she got the job, 
he was going crazy that she gave him a job saying, you going against me. I say, spoil rotten. Yeah, but he ain't, say, he ain't say nothing this time. He couldn't say nothing. You say some baby boys. I'm trying to tell you. Hmm. So, <laughs> that daggone Charlie goes over. I don't know if she went over to the Brujo's guys first or did she talk to Remy first. She talked to Remy one. first. Told Remy, listen. This part pissed me off too. I'm going to go ahead because we down to three farmers. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to shut this down. Remy was like, no, no, no. Give me an opportunity to go talk to the farmers. Da, 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. She said, no, no, no. Ain't no more talking. Ain't no more talking to them. She said, I'm shutting this down. I have no farmers to keep this place afloat. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> and he was like, but if you shut it down now, you will undo everything that you were able to do. The trust that you were able to build with them. This, that, that, and the third, and then. She said, listen, Remy. No, you forgot. She told him about the, the Landry plan. Oh, yeah. Told about the Landry plan and yeah. how she was going to go into business with them and that she was going to conquer and divide from the inside out. Da, 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 da. And that's when he went on his bullshit about the black farmers. and Somebody you built the trust and all yeah, that stuff. You don't want to hurt their feeling. You don't want to hurt their sense Man, of community. Man, this one fuck their feelings. That what Charlie said. Charlie said, hold on, Remy. They left me. Yep. Left I put everything dry. on the line to do this and do it correctly. Yep. And they listened to one little rumor and they all left me. So Jump if I don't feel a little sympathetic for their little feelings about how I need to run my business yeah. to get my family, to keep my family afloat, <clears throat> to keep my pockets where they are stable, then I'm sorry that yeah. I don't feel the way that you feel. Like my, my, what's his name? My, my Angelo. My Angelo. No. My Angelo said, when somebody show you who they are the first time, believe them. Believe them. Them farmers show Charlie who they really are. And and that day gonna really piss me all the way off, cause I'm from the country, so we can tell it, we can talk about it. Certainly when it comes from a man's standpoint, we want change, we want things to go a little differently than what they've already been done. But when someone else doesn't hold up to their end of the bargain, they still want you to hold up to, to your, your end, end of the bargain, the bargain. Mm -hmm. even if it means costing you. Everything, Everything. Yep. to prove a point. Yeah. Now, I don't completely agree with what Charlie's doing because... I don't know the complete plan. I don't know the plan, and I don't know if you're really ready for this because this is... But I understand it from a business standpoint, but... But, but she but, don't but, know but, the business. But I don't understand it from how she's going to destroy them doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So, Remy has that thing where, yeah, I want to do this, but if you don't do it in the blueprint that I think you should do it in. My way. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. Now, I've always liked how Remy, and I'm not going to use the word challenge, but that's the word that comes to mind. Kept her balance. He, he, he stretches her sometimes. Yeah. And makes her think of things that she never would. And he checks her too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when somehow she feels like she need to be checked. Yeah. But at the same time, checking someone and supporting someone does not mean controlling them as well. Exactly. That's what the genius of being in a great relationship is. Mm -hmm. Is that even when you don't agree with me, you got to trust me that I'm not going to do nothing to drive us both down in a ditch. Yeah. And when I give you the advice, at the end of the day, you can just you do, do whatever, whatever the fuck, fuck you, want you want to do with the advice. But you're but you going to know that I gave you what I think was true for you at the moment. Whether you receive it or not, that's on you. So if, it, if anybody ever tell you the truth, and then they get mad because you ain't listen. That means they trying to control trying you. Trying to control the hell out of you. Yeah. You should not. Why would I get mad at you because you ain't take my advice? That's on you. You ain't God. Yeah. And then Remy is one-sided. You mad at Charlie. But you ain't mad at them. But you ain't mad at the farmers for dropping Charlie like that. Mm -hmm. When after she done proved to them that she dare to stay. But you want to go have this, this, this church meeting with them again at the restaurant. And talk about the same old stuff, and they're gonna turn around and do the same old thing when it comes back around. And then you be mad at Charlie. Then you're gonna be mad at Charlie. She doesn't favor them. So you no. at this point you should be mad at the farmers for what they did to Charlie. But you giving them a pass. Because I guess they I guess because they stay in black, no, they ain't. They going back to to um do the milling with the white guy. Mm -hmm. So they doing exactly what Charlie doing. But you mad at her, but you ain't mad at them. 
Yeah, I ain't understand that. So Charlie asked him, said, do you even trust me? He said, when you get like this, no, I don't. She said, well, I can't be with somebody I don't trust. And he said, basically, I agree. He walked up out of her face. And I said, you know what? At this point, remember, bye. See ya. Yeah. But that's one thing that I got in my life. If you can't trust me and I can't trust you, I can't even Say adios. I can't do it. I told this coworker that one time. She was crying her tail off. She said, Lynette, do you trust me? I said, no. Why would you say that? I said, well, why would you ask me that if you weren't ready for the answer? Yeah. Obviously, I you guess you'd be like, yeah, I trust you. Yeah. I said, no, I don't trust you. I said, I trust you to where I, I trust you at a certain level. Yeah. When it comes to this, that, and the third, I know you got this. But when it comes to other stuff, no, I don't trust your God. Don't tell you to show me. And don't get mad when I tell you that I don't. So I was, I was taking it as Remy was telling her, in order for you to stay black, stay trustworthy and loyal to these black folk, this meal got to go down. That's what I took from him. And I, yeah. And but but at the end of the day, they want your money. That when that's it. That. See, when it ain't your money, you yeah you can say that. But when your money on the line, the story is a whole lot different. Like mom used to tell us that when you start buying your own school clothes, then you're going to find out the responsibility of this deal. It's easy for you to say, I want some Timberland boots and, and, and some freaking jeans and these expensive shirts. But when you start working for it, it's going to be they're gonna look totally different. Mm -hmm. You're going to take right? care of them. Uh -huh. You're going to take care of them. They're going to look totally different. See, right? Mm -hmm. So you won't be out there, look, in your British nights. What y'all uh -huh. know about British nights, Or going out there and go falling in the grass and getting green stains on your goddamn knees. I ain't do all that, girl. So now we see Ralph Angel. Says, Charlie already told him, say, hey, I fired your girl. Now, he done went into panic mode. He nah. done went to every <laughs> hotel on Jefferson Davis Avenue. Uh, every crack house. Every crack house. Every drug house. I mean, anywhere looking for dollar or star. Either one, I need to find them. He Everybody said she's like, skinny no. with long no hair. hair. Light skin. Her. Next dollar. Hair. Dollar. Scott, uh, star. He said, I don't know. Nobody seen her. So then I guess that his last thought was she loves to swim. And maybe that's where she went to clear her mind. And thankfully, she was swimming her high parts off. Yeah. I said, whoo. Y'all ain't on the crack. like Michael Phelps with the swim moves. Yeah. Hey. No, we can't even use him as a good example because he a head too. God do He sure is. God don't. That, I would get ready to call him a one of us, but I can't even do that. But he gets locked up more than we do. That's a swimming motherfucker though. He sure is. Funny looking thing. Yep. So, um, yeah, so she's swimming. And then Ralph Angel, <laughs> I said, wait a minute, Ralph Angel, did you just really come over here? To just dig her down some more. But basically he said, listen, I've done a lot. I know that I am a whole lot. Yeah. We've been through a whole lot. But mm -hmm. one thing that I've never been is dishonest with you. Never been a liar. Why would you be dishonest with me? And about this, why would you do something like this to me? Something that you knew would hurt me so. So she went on with the story about how she went to went to DC. I told you, said, I don't want to hear that booze kid. He said, "Save me." We well, all ain't with no it. details of that booze kid. Basically, she said, "I went off. I made a mistake, and I didn't know if I was pregnant by the man that I loved or some randoms." And then you got locked up, and she said, "You got excited about me being pregnant, and then I could not bring myself to tell you that it was a possibility that this baby wasn't yours." I just could not do it. I didn't feel like I could do it. And I didn't feel like that you could handle that at that moment either because of where we were in life. What she said made, made, it made sense. It made hood sense. That's why I couldn't say that. It made hood sense. It don't look good on paper. It don't look good ever. But it made good hood sense at the moment. But at some point, and he said that too. He said, okay, I understand when you were out there getting high, you were this, you were on drugs. But he said, when you started going through your steps, and this is what I said too. Yeah. You started going through your programs. You started going through counseling. You started doing this and you started doing that. Never in any of that did you ever think that it was time to tell me about this baby. Yeah. He said, you could have told me right. Matter of fact, he said on day one, you could have told me that I'm pregnant and it's a possibility that it's yours or it might not be yours. That's really easy for him to say. It really is. 
But that's not easy for a woman to say when she realizes that basically she's probably going to end up in the position that she's in now, but pregnant. Man, I guess too, it all depends on what their relationship was. So it seems like their relationship was bucked up anyway. It's still bucked up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I, I don't know. It, it's, he he went to jail. She was using. So it just How they, did they, they meet. They would they would be looking good as a unit. So, they don't look good as a uh, unit now. Yeah, so maybe she could have slid in there. Maybe she could have sent him a text. She ain't had no phone. She ain't had no minutes on that track phone. <laughs> send him a letter or something. Yeah, that's what she could have did. She could have sent him a letter. God darn it. But how did they meet y'all? I mean, was he her? Not even gonna go into it. Lord. But um. But just think about her mom. It, I mean, it. I mean, it's bad all the way around. It was good that her mom came into town and cleared everything up. Everybody got to meet the real parents, not the lying, the liars that she tried to make them out to be these bad boogeyman people. But they gave her that one piece of advice. Now look at the spiral in trouble. Now they don't and go dropped on, all they, like they, level they, with it. They don't go on back home to deal with it all by herself. Yeah, something like that needed to be processed a little better. Now they, they told her that she can come on, take her in blue back. We was like, no, nah, blue's get blue. Blue stays here. Blue ain't going nowhere. But I think maybe if you giving somebody that kind of advice, you need to stick around for a little yeah. while. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what if, if they do something to her? She ain't yeah, about herself. Yeah, you go home. That's black folk for you, though. So I'm gonna tell you how you handle this right here. <laughs> you, go, old lady. Yeah, you go in there, you tell them the truth. You know what's gonna happen? They're gonna mention they're gonna get over it because that person's a good person and they got a good heart. So when you tell them the truth, they're gonna be mad at first, but six months, no, not even six months, a couple weeks, they'll come around and y'all gonna be good. Boo, skip. And this is this the favorite line. I'm gonna be praying for you. Yeah, call I'll be me a little uh -huh. later. Call me a little later. Keep yeah, let, let me know how things went. <laughs> let me know how things went. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't even call her on the phone that we know of to find out what happened after she told it. Well, dog, I asked Ralph Angel. She said, "So does this mean that we're not gonna be together no more?" He said, "I can't be with nobody that I can't trust." True. I said, "Now that's the guy doing true." But true. at the same time, Ralph Angel. You ain't you ain't all the way trust wherever you got no one self. Now you may be innocent in the fact that you've never kept anything from her, you never lied to her, but you have done some stuff. Yeah. That's but her I, sin and you got your own. I'm with him. I I I I can't I can't handle nobody lying to me. Now nah, me either. Yeah, I mean it now, I already feel you hurt my feelings and tell me the truth than the lie. Yeah, especially something like that as detrimental as that. That's yeah. I don't want you to lie about me to me about what's on my hamburger. Now, I mean, at the end of the day, we all lie to each other anyway. You know, you go in there somebody. intentionally. Just like, just like when, um, when Nova asked Aunt Vi, how you doing? She said, I'm blessed. She said, that's the standard greeting of black folk. How you I, really I doing? I really know how you really feel. So, t so, technically, you don't really, you you know, you having a crappy day at work. You get in, you don't want to be there. And they say, how you doing? Say, I'm good I'm this good. morning. But at the end of the day, you want to be like, I don't want to be in this motherfucker. I want to go back <laughs> home and get in the bed. That's how you really feel. But you are, you are alive because, you know, you feel like you just being positive. But at the end of the day, you're really lying. Because nobody cares. It's yeah. just a, it's a standard greeting. Yeah, so, I, I mean, or you tell somebody on the phone, I call you back. And you ain't heard them back since they told you that about six months ago. And you still ain't got a call back. You make me sick because my first lady does that, does that. She be like, she said, if I tell you, I'm going to call you right back. She will call you back like at two minutes to 11. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't call you back, but I'm going to be a woman of my word and call you back. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to call you tomorrow. I'll be like, did you really just call me? And tell yeah, me or you call tell me back somebody, tomorrow? Or, or somebody's like, man, can you pray for me? Yeah, and you don't ever pray. I've done that before. Uh -huh. I just tell people that sometimes I get them on my face. I'll pray for you. You just lie. So we all lie. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, we all lie. I mean, a lie is a lie. Just, just some lies is more detrimental in consequence than others. Yeah. So, Rolla, as um, Ralph Angel, she says, so you, you know, I, I, I can deal with the fact that you don't want to be in my life and you don't want me a part of your life. But please don't cut blue out of your life. Please don't do that to that boy. Ralph Angel said, listen. He said, blue is the blood that runs through my veins. Yeah. Even if I'm not the blood that runs through his. I said, oh, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Yep. I, at this point, he, he really do need to get, you think he should get a DNA test? They should have been got it. I mean, he didn't know. He, she told him. No, I'm not, I mean, now, now. I mean, now, I mean, at this point, he pissed off. 
Hey, telling everybody a lie, cause he don't told everybody that without. But like you any... said the other week, you know we gotta we gotta make it seem more bad than it really is. <laughs> sell a story. You gotta sell a story so they can get on your side. And now, and it is a possibility. I hardly doubt it. But yeah. So Ralph Angel, he goes over there and he get cause um, Dollar said at this point she gonna go ahead and go back to DC. Tell and she said make up something and tell Blue that I got sick. That I need to go to the hospital to get well and let him know that I will be back to take him to swim class. I said, God, don't. So she's going back to DC and Ralph Angel goes over there to pick Blue up. And Blue was like, Wait a minute, what's been going on? Where you been? And he was like, You know, I've been out in the fields. This is harvest time. You know, we talked about it that I was going to be missing for a long time because I've been working really hard. He said, Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. So now they're having this bonding moment. And Ralph Angel decided that he was going to tell Blue how it was that he came about of naming him Blue, which I always wanted to know, too. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, they tried to name him all these nice, wholesome names, names that'll let you get ahead in life. You know, <laughs> I used to work in HR because I, that's true. Stop naming y'all kids these names. When he, when, he said, you. when he said your granddaddy wanted to name you Percy, Percy. I said, like, Boo Skit. He said, Percy? Percy. <laughs> <laughs> then he gave up these other names. And then he said, you know, I wanted a unique name for you, something no one had or something that meant something. And he said, I thought about the most powerful women in my life, my Aunt Vi and my mom. And basically the color came from violet because violet is a color. Mm -hmm. And she, he wanted something that not that rhymed, that rhymed with his mother's name, but true. So his name is Blue. blue. Mm -hmm. And said, Blue is everything good, everything pure. The ocean, the the ocean sky. sky. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. And he would get ready. Steve started crying. And Blue would look at him like, what the fuck is going and on? And you know, Blue is a smart, a smart boy. He knows something yeah, going on. I'm like, okay, where this come from? Cause Blue at the beginning or the opening, he would tell a Kenya, he said, he said something about that damn girl. <laughs> I said, Blue said, Blue was saying, Kenya, I don't know what the hell going on right here, but I heard somebody say something about the damn girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I need you to be my eyes and ears when I'm not available to figure out what's going on. <laughs> said, they got Blue on your car. <laughs> what? I barely say damn, 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 damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> Blue said that I could say it too. Yeah. <laughs> so that was basically how it went off. Um, I didn't get the the the, the tears and the waterworks like everybody else. Yeah, did. I mean the most the most emotional part was when he was running around looking for and stuff. Yeah. Um, so um, I mean, it didn't even make me make me want to cry. It just, it just... No. So I guess we got a wedding to plan, y'all. Yeah. Maybe they threw it, 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 water for out. It would. Yeah. They gonna use that. <laughs> Seriously, where you get that old man call from? What was that? That's that smoke. You caught me off guard. That's that black and mild bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 